Hey there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here with an updated achievement guide video. So for those who remember playing the Explorer of Night originally, had to go through the game, beat three challenging bosses, and again have a challenging yet fun experience. Well, so maybe not all fun, but still. Uh, but now, Jitalon, the publishers, have been on an almighty changing achievement so the game is simple to complete binge. So whereas this game would have taken two to three to four hours to complete originally, it now only takes less than ten minutes. On one hand, that is awesome for those who are yet to play it still, which is just great because everyone's always happy with ten minute achievement lists. On the other hand, for those people who've already completed it, a couple of us who have already made guides for the original, that is a bit of a kick in the ball sack, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, but again, it's for, you know, on the other hand, again, it, it does take away a good challenge with the fact that you don't even need to get to the first enemy, let alone the boss. In my opinion, it kind of takes away the experience, which is such a massive shame, but there we have it. Of course, you're still entitled to go and play it uh, all the way through after getting them if you want. So let's get this underway then for a nice easy 10 minute completion. But the first things first, I would use the D-pad to move about as using the directional stick makes the character move extra clunky and I found it a lot slippier if that makes sense. Um, so you already get your first achievement then for climbing a ladder, you'll also get an achievement for jumping up and down to this mushroom. Uh, press A to jump a little bit and then hold A to jump a lot. And we're also going to get an achievement for jumping over our first fish as well. Literally, there is only one achievement that you can miss, and that's for jumping on the frog. We only have to get to five levels um, and do a little bit of the, the fifth level, and that's it. And like I said, from a game that was supposed to take five hours, uh, four hours, three hours, it now takes ten minutes. So achievements are going to... Once again, I'm going to use it, but the achievements are going to fly at you quicker than those women at a bukkake party. <laughs> I'm sticking with that joke forever. It's class. So over the platform, you get one for um, <laughs> getting over the first platform. Literally, everything's easy again. You don't even have to get to a first enemy. There was a level a little bit later on, for those who haven't played it, where you had to... These crows would come down from trees and try to kill you, and it was a pain in the ball sack, really. But it was still fun. Make sure to jump on the frog right here. Um, that literally is the only missable achievement of the game. Um, but, you know, it doesn't take, literally, it doesn't take two minutes to get back to that if you do miss it. So literally, all you have to do is just take your time. Honestly, there, there's no need to rush. Nothing's going to come flying at you. Unless, of course, you decide to rush and, uh, you know, be a, be, be a bit stupid like I did there. We're going to get an achievement for moving our first block as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so just try I've obviously been through the game once so I tried rushing it which which is just wrong You don't need to you can just literally take your time I mean it's a nice setting and it's a really lovely game. So again, I just feel a bit, you know Jitalon have made the you know the game's been made I just You know even if they put in a complete the game achievement as well whether people would have wanted to do it or not it was completely up to them, but I feel like it's kind of a waste now where they've gone through all this effort to make all this game, and it's like, you only have to get to the first five levels, there we go. Okay, so we are now uh, past the third level, onto the fourth level, be careful with these logs, they're just going to come down the waterfall, be careful here as well, you have to wait for the bottom uh, platform to come back, <laughs> rather than jump on the first one there, as you would have seen, <laughs> me making the mistake. And again, these waterfalls, they're easy enough, but again, if you do end up rushing it, you can actually miss a jump, fall into the water, and you will die. Again, it's not too bad. In later levels, it was definitely more of a pain in the butt snatch, uh, purely because if you got near to the, obviously, the levels got a little bit longer. If you got to the end, you die, you go all the way back to the beginning. Oh, did remotes get thrown? Yes. Uh, jump up on this mushroom here and then get to the pl uh, platform at the top there. If you do end up missing, I'd recommend going on the ledge to the right of the mushroom and sort of um, doing a big run up. If you make, if you find that easier, which you will see me doing now, just go, jump to the le uh, platform on the right and then just do a big run up. That'll probably be a lot easier for you. So, nothing to do, just jump off on the left. You can't actually use the A button to jump. You've got to sort of uh, climb the ladder and then just go left. 
we'll get an another achievement for dropping the block right here. And this is where I stupidly died. So again, take your time right here. Wait until the, the logs come up at the top. Uh, for some reason, I forgot to press the uh, a, a button to jump. But we'll just get it. Just ignore that. The power of editing makes it all worthwhile. There you go. Nothing happened. And we got another achievement. So there we go. And that should be that. Again, the fish. That's not really an enemy. You don't have to do anything with that. Take your time on this next waterfall. Bit of logness. And jobs are good and kid. So on to the next level, and this is like, uh, this is a sort of moving platform, running platform, you have to move with the platform type of level. Uh, this isn't too bad again, to be honest, but this will be the, the final level, what we have to do to get the, um, uh, the final passing of the levels achievement then. So as you see, we got another two. Press the down button on the D-pad to uh, duck, obviously, so you don't get knocked in the head and fudged up in the old brain, like I am. And again, just, it's, like I said, it's all slow moving. It is easy enough. And again, I can see these bits being enjoyable, uh, you know, for people who do like to get easy achievements. But I know there are plenty of people out there who do enjoy the challenge as well. So again, it's a shame, but it is what it is. Jitalon have decided. And anyway, nobody can really complain with 10 minute achievement completions, can they? <laughs> can they really? Just those that are salty for having to have completed it in the first place, i.e. me and a lot of others I know. So again, just jump up and then sort of head down to the right. Remember to duck if you're not going anywhere. I almost screwed that one up. And then have a nice old time to the very merry end. Okay, so this is the... Uh, we only have to do a little bit... Now, of this level, all we have to do is cross two fragile platforms, or Kremlin platforms. They are just after these bits of platform that we have to get past right here. But what you need to do with this bit is you need to jump quite early. So, as you can see, the one on the right gets there before the one that you're on. So, you have to jump quite early and quite high. So, keep hold of that A button to jump big and jump large, and you should be okay. Only four you have to do. Jump up, these are the fragile platforms, and then that's it then, guys and gals. So there we go, literally, that that took me, even with a few mistakes that I'd done earlier, that took me nine and a half minutes. So it should take you no problem. But there we go, that is the updated achievement list. What I would say is, how, uh, keep a lookout for more updated achievement lists from Jitalon, as I feared that they are going to be getting easier for certain games. Not sure which ones, but we'll soon wait and see. But that's it then from me, guys and gals. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this updated achievement guide has helped. You get another easy thousand out of a thousand and another platinum. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching, guys and gals. See you in the next one. Big love. By the way, big shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon.